If you study the life of Jesus, one of the things you notice that he talked about often was the kingdom of God. And one of the greatest pictures of this kingdom comes from a parable that Jesus told in Mark 4, where he compares the kingdom of God to a mustard seed. Even though the mustard seed is smaller than any of the other seeds that are planted, it grows into this tree that's bigger than every other plant in the garden. And all of the birds of the air come and nest in its branches. And Jesus says that the kingdom of God is like this. So the kingdom of God is pictured as this large tree that provides security and rest. And I love this picture of the kingdom of God because so many kingdoms and nations in the world right now aren't like this. The reality for the people living in those places is anything but restful and secure. Think about people who deal with domestic violence, who can't find safety at home, or people who have mental illnesses who can't even find safety in their own headspace. There are people who feel insecure or unsafe because of the communities they live in or because of the color of their skin. Others feel unsafe because of the effects of coronavirus and economic collapse. Then there are parts of the world where civil war leads to things like genocide and refugee crises, where people who are threatened in one place leave to find shelter in another place, but when they get to that new place, they're mistreated there as well. But the kingdom of God is like none of these things. It's a place where there's security and peace and rest. In fact, in Isaiah chapter 2, God describes it as a place where people would take their weapons and turn them into farming equipment because there'd be no more war. Later on in Isaiah 11, he describes it as a place where wolves and lambs would live together, cows and bears would eat together, where children would play in the presence of, of deadly snakes, and there'd be peace because the earth would be full of the knowledge of the Lord. So what do we do if the nation we're part of looks nothing like the kingdom of God? We seek first God's kingdom. We let Christ rule in our hearts and give him control of our lives. And we promote that kingdom wherever we live. We stand for the values of our king, things like justice and mercy and righteousness and love. And we don't just speak about them. We live them out. That's how God's will is done on earth as it is in heaven. And that's how we deal with problems like injustice and violence and hatred. And maybe that never actually changes the country in which we live. But it'll change you and the people around you who see the lasting value of what the kingdom of God offers. And when every other kingdom and nation is long gone, you'll get to be part of the one that's left standing. And you'll find safety and peace and rest.